Race Week 2.0. We're starting in Thunder Valley, Oklahoma. We're going to be driving around Oklahoma and Texas all week over six different days, five different race days, one drive day, over 1,000 miles, 270 plus cars behind me here in the pits. And I've seen a lot of unique cars, a lot of new cars. So we're going to go through the pits, show you some of those right now, and then we're going to get right to racing. That's one hell of an entrance. <laughs> you guys joining us for the week? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's the plan. I love to hear that. So what year and model Porsche is this? Uh, it's a 78 uh, 928. Badass. Right away I see Steve Morris valve covers, so I know you yes. mean business. What's this, what size engine is uh, this? It's a 572 uh, Steve Morris SMX. Um, first time out with the car, never been down the track. Really? Brand new engine. <laughs> Put a rear end in it, four link, frame rails. I redid the whole center of the car, rewired it, replumbed it, everything. So essentially, really? it's even though it's not new, it's so it's gonna be today's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Five um, days of testing this week, yeah. Uh, made 2600 at the wheel, oh, yeah, 35 pounds of boost. Hell yeah, um, still really fat. We just left it safe, so that's, pro that's the way I'm gonna run it this week. I've got. 389 gear, you know, so I'm just gonna just want to go down the track. Sure. Have fun. Have you had it down the track with a previous combo or is this yeah, a full Yeah, new... yeah, yeah. I've had this car for 22 years. Holy cow. We raced at Outlaw 10.5 back in the early 2000s. Fastest the car's been, weirdly enough, which it should run quicker with this, but the fastest the car's been uh, was in 04. It went 446 at 176 in 04. Wow. This one is making more power. Yeah, you should be able but to beat that time pretty easily. Well, but the car weighs 3,500 too, so. Really? Yeah. That's. I mean, most of the weight's up front. <laughs> yeah. We still got the power windows and door locks. Really? Yeah. I love it. What's the name of the car? Der Blau High. Which is How do you spell that? D E R B L A U H A I. Nice. The Blue Shark. <laughs> you did that pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, okay. It translates to the blue shark. Blue shark. Yeah. It actually awesome. Translates to blue fish. I love it. They don't have a shark in Germany. Oh, okay. No sharks in no Germany. No sharks in Germany. So <laughs> technically, it's the blue fish. But... Yeah. What's your goal for this week? To finish. Hey, ma'am. Yeah. Finish. Any, any ET you have your your eye on, or just have fun I with the car? Not. I do not. Um, I have not. I haven't been down the track in two years, and um, just. We're just gonna have a good time. I've, well, this I've is the perfect it. event for us. Nice laid back drag and drive. You guys yeah. are gonna love it. I don't think I need to say it, but that's easily my favorite thing here. I hope he makes it the whole week because that is completely untested. Looks so badass. The snorkel on the front is from a um, tractor pole vehicle, and they got it because it makes it look more like a shark. I, I love it. <laughs> for the blue Porsche. So I'd say that's a pretty good shakedown run considering they have never made any passes on that car until right now. Gonna make it to the end in 
Nine seconds. Here comes our winner from 1.0 shootout, the race on the last day. The Firebird here is best pass is a 7-1 so far. Let's see what he does today. Gilton with the Why Not Camaro, one of my favorite street cars ever. From the outside, other than the tires, looks pretty stuck. Under the hood, not so much. Twin 98s, I believe. Let's see how he does on his first pass. everything on our website and each order comes with a free American flag sticker. Make sure to check out some of my favorites. The Turbo American Flag shirt which we'll put up on the screen right here. We've got our Turbo Drip shirt and then our Summer of Boost, our three top sellers right now. Check those out. 15% off. Use the coupon code Labor Day. Oh no. That sucks. That's not a great thing to happen first pass. <laughs> Just came back like that. How was your first shakedown pass? Weak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was. Launch feel good? Yeah. Nah. Nah, it was soft. 60 foot was horrible. It's not supposed to be per perfect the first hit. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> no, it was. It was very light. What happened to the tire? Busted a tube. Ah, okay. Well, the blue shark back here unfortunately has a popped inner tube. Hopefully, we'll be able to find another one. I think he might have a spare. Got some good data on that. Not a great pass, but he'll be back up again here shortly. Well, I'm not 100% sure of what this is. I know this is some tiny little British car, right? Am I right? You are right. On okay, that. so I'm off to a good start here. Yeah. Is that a Honda engine? That doesn't. That yeah. is not a Honda engine. No, it's a Ford SVO motor. Two Ford SVO three. motor? Yeah, like out of the 80s. Okay, so we're off to a good start. Yeah. What What is yeah. this? It is a 1970 MG Midget. MG Midget, okay. But anyways, it's got uh, T5 transmission, spec clutch, bow port head, ported all that stuff, and then VS Racing Turbo and cool overs. What size turbo? Uh, 58, 55. Okay. So this pulls pretty quick. Other than that, we're hoping for 500 horsepower. Sooner 500 later. horsepower out of this little car. That's pretty freaking crazy. What does this thing weigh? 2,100 pounds. Yeah. Good God, man, that's nuts. Have you had it on the track before? With the old setup, with the old turbo, with the old head, and all that stuff. Okay. So, How fast were you running back then? 14 seconds. 14 it, seconds. It was just spin the tires off. So it doesn't do that now. So we got better tires now. So what are you hoping to run now then? Uh, I really want like a 12. A 12? Maybe an 11, but we'll probably go for like a 13. Okay. What, cl but, what class are you in? 13. 13. 13? Class. Okay. So playing it safe. Yeah, playing it real safe. I just want to make it till Friday. Hey, that's so, a. Sometimes that's a good good enough yep. goal right there. So, as long as everything goes good, we drive down the road good, we'll be great. So, You're cool. I like the exhaust. The exhaust is uh. The, so it used to have just a hood stack, and that's all I ever ran. So when we, we were decided to bring it on this year, I was like, I'm building an exhaust so we can talk to each other. I like it. That's Otherwise, smart. You, you could never hear anything. Well, heck yeah, man. The car's got plenty of character. Hopefully. 
it runs as good as you want it to, and right, uh, you get too. that 12 second pass, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. So, hey, thanks, guys. Good luck to you, man. Thanks Thank for bringing you. this out. Oh, yeah, man. Is this the hood? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What a great use for a hood. I think I've seen this somewhere. First pass down the track this week, huh? We're, uh, yeah, a little slow tune, get her started, it's hot, turn her up. Not bad. What class are you running in? Uh, Ultimate Radial. Okay. What do you think it's going to take to win that class? <laughs> Tina Pierce will probably run low sevens. So. Low sevens? Yeah, so she, she's the one to beat. Uh, we're, we're a 750 car, so we're okay. turn it up. Well, anything can happen on race week, so you just get consistent. Well, this is number be in pretty four good shape. for me, and we've never left the first track yet. So. Really? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you that. haven't left the first track at all? Yeah, we blow it up every time. Oh, man. Yeah, so. so, are you nervous to make a second pass, or are you feeling pretty confident uh, today? Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. We, we've learned. Slow learner, but we're learning. Yeah. So, what's the combo on this beautiful car? Uh, 427 LS, uh, dark block. 107 Turbo, John Dooley. Uh, uh, he'll make lots of boost. We've never, yeah. never turned it all the way out. And you were telling me you put it into the wall just like a month, two and a half months ago? Yeah, late June. Uh, driver error, but yeah, going through the traps 174, we set her sideways, hit the wall, and slid. Dang. So, luckily. You messed up the whole side over here? Uh, fender, this quarter. And you got it fixed up just in time for race week. Uh, the car, this was our sixth pass today. So nice. It's, since it's got back together, so. Well, you made very quick work of that. I'm glad you're here. Got lucky. Yeah, parts. A little hard to get parts, but we made it happen. Maybe you'll see a 60 or 70 this next pass? What's your... Uh, that's what we'll probably do in the 70. With a 70 with an O in it. Seems like the track's probably, pretty good right now. Probably 180. That's fast. Yeah. Well, good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, 
for everybody involved, unfortunately. It sucks for him, he tops are getting hard to find, and it sucks for us because those are a pain in the butt to clean up. Holy crap, that is real ass wood right there. Real ass wood. Look at all that wood. <laughs> Wax it with pledge. <laughs> is, it, is that how that came, or did it's? No, it's original. Yeah. It is original. Uh, not no the tail lights. Okay, but the, all the wood on the outside is original. Well, when it originally came, they had like two pieces here, and the yeah. guy that redid it made it all one block. Ah. And it's really unique. It is. And it's really hard. I've never seen anything like that before. Most people look at it are wood furniture makers. They don't look at. <laughs> What kind of wood is it? I suppose it's maple. Maple? That's and pretty sweet. There's only 670 of them made, and there's 1,300 wagons made. But these, you know, not only expensive, but they couldn't pull them. It took so much power to pull that wind resistance. Yeah. That, and then they, they could only be in California because they'd run out, and they'd run out there, too. So. What year? What car is this? It's a 53 Buick. Okay, it's a Buick. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. Are you guys doing Road Week? Or are you racing? Well, we're going to race. We got on Sweet. the track, so we'll run it down there. Is it original engine in, or has it been No, modified? it's got a aftermarket engine in it. Sweet. Wow, look at the interior in here. Little big block in there. Sweet. Have you run it down the drag strip? Well, we haven't. We don't know no? what it'll run. Perfect place to do it. And uh, I'm hoping to put a little hair dryer on it for next year. Yeah? We'll see how it goes. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just noticed the doors don't have handles on them. How does, okay, you got a remote. Oh, okay. Ah, nice. You got the A track player. Oh, no, it's got a CD player. Oh. <laughs> Look yeah, at that. It's Look got that dash. buttons on it. We can't figure out. That's sweet. It. Yeah, that part's all original one. Yeah. You know. What a cool dash. Yeah, the Buick, you know, is an Oldsmobile and Pontiac were, you know, they're the chrome masters of the world. Mm hmm. Chrome everything. Yeah, I, when my dad Blow came home from the war, World War II, he's, he was in the full duration, four and a half years. He wow. turned 18 Holy in cow. boot camp, and he flew over into Hiroshima after they dropped the bomb. And he said, those of us that went through World War II and lived, <laughs> we got full combat pay. And he said, we could buy Buicks and Pontiac and Oldsmobile because they were the most expensive the cars The luxury cars. And he said, Chevys, that's for the working man. Yeah. <laughs> he can make payments. Fords, ah, that's for them other people. <laughs> said, Buicks are for us. <laughs> I love it. And we always had Buicks. And that stuck with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of muscle car Buicks. Well, I'd say you got one of the coolest Buicks I've seen. This thing is sweet. Yeah. That, that wood is really an amazing work of art. It is. That that guy did. And, and uh, yeah, it, it is really something. And, and most people don't recognize it. And he kind of lined up the, the wood grain pretty well, too, on the sides. Yeah. And, you know, it had to be come out of a huge block, you know, <laughs> yeah. to carve it down into that. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's all That's wood. pretty solid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all wood. Yeah. It still only weighs like 4,500 pounds. It's For something that, that big, that's not too well, bad. Well, the seats that are in it are out of a Lincoln. They probably weigh 800 pounds a piece. No uh, kidding. They're just terrible. Yeah. Oh, boy, are they nice They look great in there, yeah. We, we drove 900 miles to get here. And it, it's, really? Yeah, it, just cruising. Yeah, it's smooth. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Is this your first race week? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You're, you're going to love it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a really we, good family of people. We, we've been to most, or last four or five of them. Okay. And, and we drive a different car each time. And uh, We went to the Denver one uh, this year, too. It was a lot of fun. We don't want to win. We just want to look good. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Well, thanks for bringing something unique out. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, you bet. Thank you.
13, 14. Not too shabby. Ford Rangers I've ever seen. What do you think? Yes, I think yep. it's sick. 100% agree. <laughs> Dude, it's got style, it's got power. What more could you want? All right, folks, you mentioned the pitch. Thirteen-o, thirteen-o, come on down. class. We have a special driver here I wanted to introduce you to. Let's go talk to him real quick. <laughs> Chair Force One. I love it. Chair Force One here. How's it going? How's it going, Kyle? Good, good. So it's been how long since you've uh, since you've driven? Uh, drag race since 1993. 93? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, it's been a while. Wow. So I've been looking forward to making some passes. Yeah. And so what happened to get you here today? I had a car wreck in 2005. Gotcha. And we really don't know what happened. Wow. Um, ended up rolling an SUV. And I'd just gotten off, uh, let's see, it was probably about noon. I was going to lunch, we think, so. Is everything wiped from your memory? Well, that portion of it, because I was yeah. a helicopter mechanic, and that's kind of how that came about, was, uh, I was down in Port O'Connor, Texas, on the coast, and we had a couple of helicopters that flew out of there, and I was maintaining both of those, and uh, something happened. I know we went up flying that morning, came back, and 12 o'clock, blank. Wow. Uh, they said it was raining pretty bad, too, so. Gotcha. Um, it wasn't raining when I left. I do remember that. But once I turned on that one county road down there, that's that's last thing. That's about all that I can remember. But you're back in the driver's seat. Oh yeah. About to make a, your first pass in how long? Uh, since 1993. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. that's been a long time. It's been an incredibly <laughs> long time. So what, what did it take you to get here to race today? What there's a lot of people that helped put people. this thing together. Uh, uh, serve outdoors. Uh, they've just been incredible with us, you know. And uh, 
they do hunts like uh, deer hunts, hog hunts, and stuff like that for uh, disabled veterans. Oh, really? Just, just better uh, disabled people. In That's general. cool. Yeah, uh, it's Scott and Bambi G, and they're uh, down in Markham, Texas. Uh, a friend of mine that I worked on helicopters with, Mark Beanie, he uh, helped us with accommodations and stuff. And that another thing that we just couldn't have done it without it. Yeah. And uh, there's just so so many people I get. I get lost. Yeah, there's a lot to remember. Um, there but is. you're here, and you're just moments away from making your first pass. What's going through your head? Um, ready to do it? A little nervous, but excited. Yeah. Good. Ready, ready to go. And, it's a perfect uh, place to do it. The Race League family is amazing. Yeah, it's. I've already met some incredible, yeah, really incredible people. Yeah. And uh, it's so nice. We've had a lot of help here in the pits and everything. So. Sweet. Yeah. How many ponies does this uh, minivan have? Um, from the factory, I think they came with 283. Okay. We've got some bolt-ons. Nice. Maybe we might pull, you know, a round three out of it. I don't know. It's hard to I say. I saw the exhaust. What else have you done to it? Now, uh, we've got a, a BBK 78-millimeter uh, throttle body on it. Really? And the rip super coils. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great week. I, I hope so. I know it's going to be, really. I'm Back excited. to drag racing. Back to drag racing. Good luck, man. Thank you, Have fun Kyle. this week. We'll yes, be seeing sir. you plenty. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is right there. All right, four stretch cam. <laughs> There's another one. Aha, there we go. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you show them what that throttle body does there, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Very nice. It does a little bit, but it's all sound. It does sound good. you feel? That, it, well, remarkably good. Good. I mean, I'm just glad it, we went down the track with it, and uh, that was that was awesome. Good. I mean, it feels been good to be so back. So long, man. '93, <laughs> and then in between '93 and then of course '05 when I, I had my wreck, and uh, I just never really considered it. But, it, you know, me and Jason got back together probably, I don't know, 2010, 2011. And then from there on out, we talked nothing but racing. But, you know, and then he started the Dragon Drives. Yep. And I'm like... That addiction oh. started. Then I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. But we weren't, I didn't, initially, I didn't want to use his van because I just didn't want to hear Honestly, it's all I got. Yeah. I don't have a backup, so I'm like, oh, please don't break on this girl. <laughs> well, congrats on the first pass. Dude, thank you. Addicted brother. again, huh? Oh, no, over addicted. <laughs> it's all it's all downhill from here. I need rehab now. <laughs>
a Chevette out here at race week, and I want to hear the story on this thing. What's going on with this? So we bought this in 2019. Yep. Yeah. It's a it's an old bracket car. It had a 4.3 liter in it when we bought it, and uh, it's had quite a few different changes and upgrades on it since we drug it home but uh it's it's her car we bought it for her to bracket race and then we really kind of jumped in on this race week stuff and uh now it's you're hooked it's a yeah. street car yeah what, what's the best time in the car so far uh, uh i think it went 1180 something in uh in kansas on 2.0 last year yeah Are you hoping to go quicker this year uh, probably not that was you're, you're really happy good. where you're at cold front come okay. in last year so it was faster but oh uh, yeah uh, i ran it yesterday just we actually had the motor out of it this week. Uh, we packed the trailer, <laughs> polished the wheels, had the car cleaned up, ready to go, and we went cruised one last little cruise before we loaded the trailer, and uh, the roommate seal started puking. So pulled the motor out Sunday, last Sunday, yeah, and. Uh, Resealed the pan and put a uh, remain in it, put it back together, and got it running again Wednesday. Wednesday. So I made a couple shakedown passes with it last night with me in it. It was going 12:30. There so, you go. Yeah, she's gonna run the 12-0 class right yep. back where it was at. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got lucky because if that had happened today, you'd been in really bad yes. shape. Yep. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. And who knew drag wheels look so good on a Chevette? Yeah. Like, for real? look at this thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. So the front suspension, this is a legit 84 Chevette front suspension. Um, you know, it's not a cut up chassis car like most of them are. So yeah. when we rebuilt the front end, it was more slap out and you can't find Chevette parts. So it actually has 70, I think 73, 74 Charger front shocks on it. It's got a bunch of Pontiac Fiero bushings and ball joints and stuff in it. And uh, the <laughs> With it being a 4.3, it's hard to find performance parts for a 4.3, so the, the valve covers actually came from Aussie Speed in Australia. Yeah. What engine's in it? It's a 4.3 V6. It's 267. Interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. A 40 over, flat top. It's got small block Chevrolet pistons in it. I, I noticed the valve cover was a little tiny, but yep. I did not notice it was missing two cylinders. Yep. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. You've got plenty of room in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's got a 580 lift hydraulic roller cam in it. It's got a roller rockers, H beam rods. Wow. All the good stuff. Serious V6. Yeah. <laughs> How much does it weigh? Uh, it's around 25, 2600 pounds okay. with me in it. So it's still pretty light. It is. That's yeah. good. What else have you done to this thing to make it race ready? I see the fuel cell back there in the floor. Yeah, it's yeah. got uh, it's got the precision shifter in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, switch panel, it's got all the gauges and stuff in it. Yeah. Which we worked pretty hard to keep the factory dash and everything looking. Actually, is this a factory wing? Okay, no. so another <laughs> fun fact. I like that. Whoever originally built this car, it had some Mitsubishi Eclipse parts on it. Not positive that's what that came off of, but... We're pretty sure it's from a Mitsubishi. <laughs> it could be off of Mitsubishi. <laughs> Mini tubbed with the carpet and everything over it. <laughs> I cut the spare tire wheel out. It's got a 10 gallon fuel cell in it. Yeah, I love how the fuel cell looks in there. It looks great. And mm. I got on the Chevette owner's Facebook page and actually found that is a dealer add-on hitch for a Chevette. Ooh. So that was a, that was a rare find. Fancy. So that we yes. can pull our... Our little trailer with it. So. so this was a factory option back in what year is it? 84. 84. Okay. A couple years after I was born. <laughs> the motor's all fresh. Should be smooth sailing. Ish. Hope you guys have a nice yeah. easy week. <laughs> Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>
Well, you said at UCC you were going to be here, and here you are, man, in the flesh. This truck looks just as good as it did back then. Thank you. Yeah. You made any changes since we last saw you? Uh, we're doing some suspension changes now to make it a little bit more street friendly, towing the U-Haul trailer, but no, not really. We pulled the motor out, went through it, made sure it was good, went through all the transmissions, so we got plenty of those. And then uh, put the interior back in it, put the full bed back on it, the tail lights in it, all the good stuff to be street legal, and here we are. I know a lot of the comments on the last video was this isn't a street truck, but it, it sounds like you've got a plan here to make this a street truck. It well, it is a street, street truck, truck, but a lot of people don't realize that when you're really driven, you can have multiple setups. And I've got like three or four truck beds, two sets of doors, like all this crap you can just unbolt and then change your setup and then go compete. And every event has different rules. So if you go to an unlimited event, fiberglass bedsides are cheap and they're lightweight. It goes fast, so yeah. What, remind me again what the combo is on this and how much power it makes. So it's a 6.7 liter Cummins with a Hamilton Competition modified coolant block that we hard block and we filled. D&J Stage 3 head, flux diesel 400% comp hybrid injectors, two 14 millimeter race pumps from Exergy and twin VS uh, 83106 ball bearing chargers. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we build the motor, we build the transmissions, 48 RE, and uh, that's pretty much it. 2007 Dodge Ram. Very nice, very nice. How much power do you estimate? that's good for? We've made a lot of different power and a lot of different dynos. The most we've made is 3,089 on the diesel Dr. Dyno and then we've done 2,600 at the UCC 22, 2022 uh, on the Northwest Dyno Circuit Dyno. And we're planning on going back next week, next Saturday, to redo that up in Salt Lake City. We've found our issues, we've resolved them, and now we're coming back again. What class are you going to be running with this thing? So we are going to do Rowdy Radial, uh, eighth mile heads up class and it's a little bit easier on the truck certainly easier on the transmission we didn't really have time to swap to the gears for the quarter mile we just ran out of time so we came eighth mile prepared well awesome man i'm excited to see what this truck can do this week so we'll let thanks. you get back to work good luck awesome. and uh, be safe out there thanks man appreciate it absolutely Let's see what the diesel can do in Rowdy Radial. This is an eighth mile class, so keep that in mind. Big truck, man. That is not bad at all. There we go. What's In up? the flies first pass. Yeah. Nice. It was drama free. You know. Uh, I think I can leave a lot harder. I had a, a few issues there spooling it. It was pretty dirty. So I didn't really get the chance to come up to your perfect pressure. Yeah. But yeah, I kind of babied it a little bit, see what the track would take, and I think the track is there. So oh, yeah. we got our track pretty good. adjusted. So we're gonna we're gonna turn her up a little bit, you know. What's your goal? I want to see 550s on a consistent basis. We're a little bit heavier now that we added all the interior back in it, the bed back in it. But um, we got full fuel now, and you know, we'll just see what happens. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Nice pass. Yeah. Thank you.
Here comes the green diesel for pass number two. We did just see a 530 pass in Rowdy Radial, so he's got to dial this thing up quite a bit. We need to run up and down for sure. So they're drying the tires up on this Cummins because a pipe was broken on the spigot to the hose for the water box. And so obviously they don't want wet tires when they do an all-wheel drive launch on this truck. So it looks like they just got it dried off and they're about to go make a hit right now. Looks like this fourth gen got a replacement for the heat top that he lost earlier. Man, doing the most here to make it through the week. Got rid of the tubes, so. Oh, the tubes are completely gone. Yes. Nice. Yeah. That's one way to fix it. Yeah, right. Uh, well, that's the way I have been running. Sorry. So. Sweet. All right, pass number two coming up on the Porsche here in just a second. <laughs> it is so loud. I'm sure the videos don't do this thing justice. It is just, it shakes everything around it. seconds as we knew the Porsche is testing all week that's his second pass ever on that car so we're gonna see him slowly get quicker and quicker and quicker let's see how fast we can go by the end of the week
fast. I knew he was on one when he went past me at like 400 feet down here. Just flying. Holy crap, Tom, 199. Ah, well, the one. <laughs> ah, man, I've been there so many times, you know. I know. Yeah, you've done it already before. Yeah, oh yeah, I've done it twice. <laughs> I've only done it twice, 200, twice. Yeah, 199 with a little one. Ain't That's that hilarious. Well, that right, track was slick. Yeah. Yeah, it was spinning. But uh, if you look at the map, that, that old oh, dry geez, shaft yeah. is spinning all over. Just like, all over? Yeah. Old you know, But, you know, I got down it. I'm satisfied. We're going home. Good. We're going to motel. Good. Uh, Get some sleep. Maybe uh, Friday when we come back here. We'll come back. If, if. No, when. Uh, uh, yeah. If. When. Yeah. Yeah, so a long way from here to Friday. Yeah, you're right. Just week-long test and tune for you. Exactly, exactly. I gave it some more timing and took that fuel out. And the, the timing curve is way wrong, but I don't have the right cable to fix it. Yeah. So I get that. That's good. But yeah, it, when the timing started kicking in about eh, 200 foot is when it started coming in. Yeah. Well, the good news is that just you idling through the pits makes me smile, so. <laughs> well, good. I'm it's glad really I cool to have it here. Service. Yeah, that's awesome. The headlights are hilarious, by the way. They look like little frog head, frog, uh, Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Chad's personal best, so he just tied that. It was either 809 or 807, I forget, but uh, that was a hell of a pass. And it got pretty sketchy on the top end, is what, what I could see from here. What happened? I don't know, at the end of the run, it died, and it didn't look like it had fuel pressure. Oh, okay. So I don't know if something happened to my drive cable or what. I'll have to get it back and get it looked at. Is it a mechanical pump? Mechanical pump for the race side, yeah. I got an electric pump for the drive oh, side. Oh, okay. So you can get back on, on that. Yeah, if I get some yeah. tools and switch oh, it. Yeah. Can, yeah. What was your PB? Uh, 809 before. A bunch yep. of people messaged me. 806, I think, is what it went. Uh, 809. 809? Again? Again. <laughs> Couldn't give me just that little bit. Huh? That's awesome. <laughs> Or is there someone quicker than you? First and second. Okay. Us. Dang. Yep. That's 
tight. <laughs> I'm excited he's here. This actually is first one, this is my third one. So I was helping him earlier, and after we went that, and I'm point oh oh one behind him, I said, I'm not helping you. No yeah, no kidding. You're on your own. I'm not helping you. It's going to make either. the class really interesting, that's for sure. It's going to be fun. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Perfect. Pretty sweet. <laughs> second gear burnout down the track. Yeah, I saw the rolling burnout. That was nice. <laughs> I was gonna waver off pretty quick, and then I was like, eh. whatever. Whatever. It was going straight. <laughs> nice work, and it's still running. <laughs> a lot smoother than 1.0. Yeah, nice work. Nice <laughs> work. I don't think so. No? no. I think I've seen some ones, but no no O's. Did you see Taco Time in the air next to you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to come over there because he no was little. Well, I thought he was going back. I, got, I thought, oh, I hope it don't live. Oh, I wasn't backing out. He wasn't. <laughs> I knew he wasn't going back. No. They're going to outlaw you from this class eventually. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> we'll, go to, we'll have the S10 out then and we'll just go somewhere There else. we go. Congrats. Yes. Now you gotta do it four more times. Oh man. Nice work. That was work. Good job. Yeah, no kidding. Damn. We Woo. stuck with a seven Woohoo! Oh yes. <laughs> Jerome Courtney out here again, dominating limited street, the 850 class, where you have to run an 850 something to be as close as you can get to 8500. 8509 for him tonight. He's gonna be sleeping good tonight. We'll see what he does tomorrow. Pierce coming up here for her third run. The first pass, she couldn't get the 60 foot down, just spun instantly, still ran a seven. And then this last pass, she got the 60 foot down, the rest of it was horrible. So let's see if she can get it together on this one. Okay, let's see if it starts. And it started. 
bet it's making noise all the way here, and I was like, uh. so unless we can fix it tonight, yeah. that'll be it for me. But. So Tina and David Pierce having one hell of a pass. They're confident this car can run a six eventually. It could have been that pass, but the wheelie held them back from doing that. Should have been a, a low seven, but had to pedal it once, running a 744, and unfortunately, Tina thinks it's hurt. We're going to find out just how hurt it is eventually tonight, and we'll hope that they can get it fixed overnight or in the morning and make it to the next track. Going up on the lift? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is this thing weight rated for this? <laughs> What'd you do? Man, I screwed up. I run my nitrous on a switch, and I run the switch, the map on time, and I didn't know it after the throttle position was met, the RPM was met, the boost was met. I already had the switch turned on, so it came on first. Gear. Oh, all so, of it? Yeah, it turned on 130 nitrous. Oh, shit. First gear. So, oh. obviously, I didn't like that. Yeah. So, we're going to swap in the other trains and then uh, redo the program and come out for tomorrow. How, how many trains did you bring with you? One spare? We brought one whole unit. Okay. So, we're going to swap units and then we'll tear this down and see what's up. If we can fix it, cool. If not, our shop is an hour from the motorplex, so we'll just cut over and get more. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So right on the way. All right. Perfect. And then we just apply what we learned today to tomorrow, <laughs> right? Don't be an idiot. Yeah. Don't suck. <laughs> Remember what you're doing. Robert here with the portable hoist is a lifesaver. He has saved race week for many racers over the years, and we really appreciate him being here. Make sure to check him out. If you want to buy a portable car hoist, check him out. If you want to rent one, if you want him to come to your event, hit him up. That's a wrap from race week day one. We have our Porsche over here, the crazy Porsche converting over to street driving. And they've got a 230 mile drive along with all the other cars in the parking lot here to Ennis, Texas, Texas Motorplex for day two of racing. So tune into our channel because we're going to be bringing you live updates every day, five days of racing, six days here on race week 2.0. We'll see you guys tomorrow.